Hello my soccer universe. It was a really interesting round coming back from the international break in the Austria Bundesliga. All games ended with wins. And while there was only one win that was really decisive, which came in the Graz Derby, which was the marquee fixture, all the other ones were one goal wins, and especially on Sunday, all came with late goals. There's also another interesting story from a Lusk perspective, that now there's only one point missing to catch the city rivals, given that after the Derby they were 10 points ahead, that's quite the turnaround, and I've been keeping quite quiet for a while because blau Linz were the better team so far in the season but I have a feeling things may turn around. Of course next weekend is also a big game for Lusk where the distance could increase again but I just wanted to mention it. We're catching up and we might catch them overall and it might be that Lusk finish the regular season ahead of blau Linz, something I wouldn't have said a month ago. Just before we get into Austria Bundesliga action, a uh, quick housekeeping. I was actually planning on doing an Austria Bundesliga jersey review in this block between the October and November international breaks. I might get still to that. However, there is a big vacation period for me where I actually have quite some plans already. And there are other projects surrounding the channel and work as well that might keep me from doing that. Let's see, maybe I'll get to it. Otherwise, it will come after the international break. Kind of late, but by that time, I've seen probably all of the jerseys worn in the Austrian Bundesliga quite well. In any case, as usual, let's recap the round with all the action that happened in longer edits of the short videos that I have published. And after that, we quickly talk about the situation in the league and also look at the upcoming games. <music> In the not-so-secret top game of the round, Wolfsburg win one at blau weiss Linz, getting back to winning ways, and blau weiss Linz suffered their second home defeat in a row after starting with three home wins into the season. Based on the first half, I would say the win for Wolfsburg was deserved. They get the winning goal through Mwai Wu after a corner kick by Zukic in the 24th minute. Half and a few more chances, second half blau weiss came out a little bit more, created also some chances. However, in the end, I think Wolfsburg got the deserved win. It was very close and Salzburg would have suffered another damning defeat at home against Altach under their new coach, Ingolic. Salzburg, of course, dominated proceedings, however, couldn't put the ball into net. Were not very convincing. Goli Schlager was playing, which was a biggie after he missed the first part of the season so far. Second half with the first shot on goal, Fredrikas gives Altach a lead in the 59th minute. And you're really fearing the worst for Salzburg, who, remember, just before the international break, was on a really, really bad run, losing to Sturm Graz, for instance, at home. Five nil and also some bad losses in the Champions League. However, it is then a very late turnaround through Konate in the 84th minute and then a really weird goal where it was a long kick that Konate takes down, goes into Baidu's step sequence, puts it in the net in the 87th minute and Salzburg get a last ditch win. Will this be enough to get them going again? We shall see. Sturm Graz, of course, stayed top of the table, winning the Derby 5-2 over GRK in a very hard-fought game. Overall, it was very tight and tense in the first half, but then it turns to Sturm. Thanks to two semi-own goals, it was a Gazi Begovic free kick. That was then deflected by Jovicic into his own net, and also the goal by Kitashvili was actually an own goal by the goalie. It was 2 at the half, but the beginning of the second half where it really was at, you thought that Ganschnik had given GRK a goal back. However, in the build-up, there was a clear offside. Birith then taps it in to make it 3-0, and then and Giacar come back to scoring two goals in the 54th and 56th minute. Moderna and Rosenberger putting the game back into contention. However, then it was going back and forth. Jata in the end, in the 64th minute, sales in making it 4 2. And Kitish really gets his second goal of the evening in the 79th minute for an overall deserve, even with the scoreline 5 2. Giacar again playing well, but defensive errors are really costing them this season. And unfortunately, the coach is now already under pressure. I still think this team has more to show and will show us. The Austria Derby in Klangfurt sees the one from Vienna winning 1-0 thanks to a late Gruber goal. Late goals were the story on Sunday. But the big talking point, of course, was a clear handball by Robac in the first half that survived VAR when everyone said this should have been a clear handball and a penalty. I would agree so as well. Austria Vienna playing very well in the first half. Second half was a little bit more even. In the end, it was a beautiful goal by Gruber. A fits assist where he lobs it over the defenders and then Gruber can take it on. 
Smartphone and in the Internet. Got a deserve it, but in a way, Messi 2 1 away win at Tyrol, meaning there are six competitive games unbeaten in a row after start of the season. That's really, really good news. But as I said, it was a messy win because for the first 20 minutes or so, Tyrol was definitely better in the game and Lusk looked a little bit lackluster and you know, nonchalant. All these qualities that I really do not like them displaying. And it is one of those where Schul wants to play a nice pass, is intercepted by Diara, goes to Eastern Duck, who from the mid way line scores probably the goal of the season goal is even handle of course is out of his goal a little bit too far and a minute later he's also injured receiving a cut above his head and I feel the worst at this point however to the credit loss got back in the game this long treatment break for goal is even handle actually really allowed shop to make some adjustments and then slowly slowly the game tilted to its last there was a chance by Ljubicic who back it onto the goal and then a play out error by Lawrence sees Sulzbacher stumble over the ball is then intercepted by Berisha who runs on goal past Lawrence and into the net 40th minute 1-1 Lusk and actually they could have made it two the chances were there especially won by Schul second half Young Jungwirth the third goalie for Lusk actually came on then Lusk again lost control a little bit to Tyrol the game really fell asleep only with the introduction of Entrup in the 70th minute for Ljubicic did the game get interesting again and then Lusk had very much the upper hand created chances Entrup was really alive via his play with Schul really worked well and again it's a defensive error by Tyrol who playing out the balls intercepted Schul takes a shot it is blocked falls to Entrup and in the 87th minute he scores the winner he should have had another one as well before the Talavierov had a free header so overall I would say the win was deserved but it was a teeny bit lucky as well however now only one point behind the city rivals and that feels kind of good Rapid also score a late winner to keep up with Sturm Graz. They dominated the first half, created multiple chances. Bellio gives them the lead already before there was a goal that was not counted because of a push by Bellio in the build up. Kind of iffy that one. But five minutes after the go ahead goal, a pretty goal by Hartberg. So Mijic laid back to Kainz, who then with a nice shot into the left corner gets the equalizer. Still, Rapid very much the better team. Probably should have taken the lead into the half time. Second half, Hartberg were much better in the game almost scored a goal or we don't know whether the ball crossed the line or not and then in this very tense phase where both teams were then kind of going for the winner it's an individual error where it's a ball headed back towards Burgstaller who hits the crossbar and then Bischoff brings it home for the 2-1 winner for Rapid however then there was another controversial scene when Bola had the ball more or less in his hands like this like a volleyball player also not given what's the wrong with Austrian referees today in any case Rapid based on the first half get a deserved win However, this was a really, really tight one. Now, a quick glance at the table will tell you the Sturmgras is just a point ahead of Rapid and it's very tight between those two and Salzburg only sit in fourth place behind Wolfsburg. However, games played is a factor because Salzburg have two games in hand to home games against Hartberg and Klagenfurt who now sit in the bottom group and that might be a little bit deceiving. I think Salzburg should be considered at least a third place team and much closer to the other two. We also see now that the race for the top six places is getting really really tight with Austria Vienna, Blauweiss Linz and Lusk on 10 games each. Only separated by two points. We have Hartberg a point behind, who have a game in hand, albeit at Salzburg. Also Klagenfurt in there. I would say Tirol, Artach and GRK are probably the two teams that will stay in the bottom group and will probably fight against relegation. But the top six race is a really tight one. Lask and Abek with 63% chance of making it into this top six. Given that after the derby it was more like 33%, that's a huge, huge, huge turnaround. <music> The upcoming weekend is very much a holiday weekend for Austria because the 26th of October is the Austrian national holiday and 7th of October is also my birthday. So I got a big birthday present with Lask hosting Sturm Graz. I hate games being played on my birthday because we rarely get wins, although this would be the perfect present for me. And Lask Sturm Graz is of course the big marquee fixture. However, for the table I would say Wolfsburg against Salzburg just ahead of that is a little bit more important. We also have an interesting one between Hartberg and Blau-Weiß Linz. Remember, these two teams are all in the top six race. 
so this was it from me from the Austrian Bundesliga for the first weekend back from the international break. Austria did well there, Lars got another win, so I'm quite happy. I hope my house will not be dashed on my birthday, but hey, I will be there giving other videos as well. Overall, I'm looking quite optimistic into the future because Lask seemingly is finding form. That's the most important for me. Let me know what you thought about this round. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my Austrian Bundesliga universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!